we bought the building and there was this picture on the corner of St. Rock and Charter Street of, um, it said, uh, the rabbi with a green beard and red hat. And uh, we thought it was a beautiful thing. And our plan was always to care for the mural. And as it turned out, we were able to find the person who painted it originally. And he's coming back to repaint the mural, which is, was damaged. I, I'm, I'm, here, I'm, I'm here to paint a rabbi mural on, on Charters and St. Rock. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I've been flown down and I'm staying with them. There's something about how it sits on the corner of Charters, Franklin, and St. Rock Avenue that's kind of magical. It's five points that comes together. When Jonathan chose that location, he chose it really wisely because, for instance, from Sound Cafe, you can sit at a table and look down Charter Street and the rabbi is right there looking over the street. It's a fabulous position. That corner, oh, right? The one they just, they just scrubbed off and like... Yeah. It was so funny because that's like... I was just on the street of my house and I was talking about that and then I was sitting at Sound Cafe and my friend was like, you know, it's right where you can see it. And you look right down the street, it's right there, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't remember painting that mural. I do remember being asked to do it. I remember the, looking in this closet and, and basically saying, we're gonna just use these paints because we, we don't wanna spend any money on doing this. And I, I, I remember going, this is so funny, I'm doing a rabbi. I remember thinking how funny that was. And so anyway, over the years it's faded. I kind of forgot about it and they called me out of the blue. And it was the thing that was given to us when we purchased the building and we felt an immediate responsibility for uh, keeping him on the corner because he actually I feel like he's a kind of a, a protector of that, that intersection. Jonathan will paint a, an entirely new rabbi as interpreting the rabbi with a red hat and green beard so the rabbi will still be there it, he will just be reinterpreted. It took a lot of preparation to get to this point a lot of like talking out loud in public you know to, to get the trail of people uh, to find Jonathan finally. Here it is. Here it is. There's the building. All right, this is so intense, man. This is so intense. Okay, it's crazy. I know. I did that crazy thing, you know. That's it. That, that little spot, spot there is where it's going to be. I'm excited. All right, I have, a lot to, I have a lot to do with that. I'm so nervous about doing the mural. So that's the thing. I'm really actually anxious about it. I feel like until I start, maybe, you, or I, I hope it's when I start, I'll get more relaxed. But until I start, I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm not myself. I'm feeling very vulnerable right now. I need um, white paint. I need white paint with a little bit of, um, with a, a dash of the, that, 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 that mineral spirit stuff. It's like it's gotten so late. I don't know what happened. I thought it was gonna be. So, I really thought it was gonna be finished by. You know. Hey Rick, you know the, the big question here is I'm actually thinking about going with a whole another color in the bottom and Good. just having it. Excellent. I love that. Yeah. I love that very much. All right. Cool. We're letting the artist do exactly what he wants. But I want them to like it. My God, it's their house. I, I remember when uh, you painted the thing the first time. Oh, you do? Uh-huh. Oh, that's great, man. What so I've been watching it for years, you know? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You watch the decaying, you mean, the decaying process. Well, that it was still here, though, in some, some, some way. Yeah, it, yeah. It, did, it, it, it never totally disappeared. Right, right, right. I, I just love it that he's, uh, he's, he's being revived. I was coming to work one day, and he was out, out there painting it, and he asked me something about the, the hat. Because you asked me, the first mirror, you asked me, I was looking at it, and you asked me what the hat level or whatever. <laughs> and I said, no, it's near too steep. Oh, really? You had to round it out. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah and you, know you what? did that's it? Because I did round it out. That, that sounds really familiar. Because was, I was like, why did I do a bowler hat? Because I wasn't doing bowler hats then. Uh -huh. And I don't know nothing about all. <laughs> See that? It, Go to show you, you could ask anybody how they think, what they think about it, and they could tell you the right thing. Just being out here, I've learned so much about what people thought of it. You know, I told you that people called this Rabbi Square. <laughs> Rabbi, you know, I mean, a couple of people just called it that. You know, I guess it wasn't like official or anything like that. This is the epicenter. Like, I feel like this is really like this corner. Like, it's like everyone knows this corner. And I thought when I did it, it wasn't like that. It was kind of a little more of a, like, it was like, it was like you know, six blocks from where the action was. Now it's like the action is fall, came this way. And, and I'm glad I have a, a good piece. I think this is a better rabbi than the first one. You know, the first one was kind of a silly, kind of, I didn't, I didn't take it that seriously. Now, I'm like, I took this much more seriously. And, I, seen, and then, you know, the hero was Rabbi Square. And there's like all the people that came and yeah. met me. Yeah. I think it's lovely, a wonderful upgrade. Long overdue. Looks beautiful, I like the gumball.
I think this somehow was placed right over the old one, right? Somehow, yeah. So much sharper now that I can almost forget what the old one was, almost, except that it was faded. Are those kosher gumballs? <laughs> it's, it's a thing that was here before Katrina, and it needed to be refreshed. I feel like is it's someone investing in the city saying, yes, you, you we did get flooded, and we might get flooded again, but we're still going to paint it, and we're still going to make it look nice anyways. It's important to keep doing these things. What do you think this is going to leave the neighborhood with? It's going to leave it with a good feeling, I hope. With a really good feeling, a warm, cuddly feeling. <laughs> and they're going to be like, railways are cool! <laughs> <laughs>